So as you can see guys right now the price of Bitcoin is flashing a very interesting scenario and we want to find out what exactly could be playing out next because if you monitor the price movement starting here in a daily time frame price of bitcoin tends to be getting strong rejection around this 48,000 to 49,000 price level and why are we getting a strong rejection around that area it's because if you monitor this price movement here using this simple ascending channel you can see guys the upper line of this ascending channel here is acting as a very very strong resistance so there is a one reason why we are finding very hard to break from this upper line of this ascending channel and also if you are aware of this leading indicator which i like to use the cpr central pivot range you can see exactly guys exactly at this monthly air two line this green line what you can see after reaching this price level of 49,000, we got a very strong rejection so now you can see along with this upper line of this ACNE channel and also this monthly air two line this is acting as a very very strong resistance if the price of bitcoin wants to continue further in an upper division then we have to find support above this 48,800 to 49,000 price level because if that's going to happen then we are heading straight towards this next air three target line of 55,500 to 55,600 price level here to the upside but not just only this two line which is actually acting as a resistance for bitcoin at this current stage but also if we would add let me hide this for a second if we would add this fibonacci extension level here from where we actually started this movie in an upper direction you can see exactly this 0.786 fibonacci extension level of 48,200 is also acting as a very very strong resistance and that can be seen very clearly so now we know we have three strong resistance around this price level of 48,300 to 49,000 price level so if the price is going to find support of this first resistance line of 42,000 242,300 then we could be looking for another move which could also find support above this cpr line so now you can see if that's going to happen then there is a very likely scenario that the price of bitcoin could also continue further in an upper duration but for that as you can see we have to break out of this 0.786 fibonacci extension level of 48,200 to 48,300 price level and also find support above this green line this green dotted line of 49 to 48,800 price level so if that's going to happen as i've said you then there is going to be a very very impulsive move here in an upper duration so according to this fibonacci extension level the next possible target to the upside is going to be around 53,500 but according to the cpr 55,500 price level so these are some upper target I will be looking at if the price of bitcoin is going to find support of this resistance line which i just showed you and if there is going to be any sort of a price pullback then where i will be looking at i will be looking at this 0.618 fibonacci extension level of 44,000 to be a very very strong support line because that has happened here the price has found a very strong support so any sort of a rejection or pullback then we should be focusing around this 44,000 price level as our support here to the downside so now what we can also do let me also show you in a bit different perspective okay guys so for that what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to use this invert scale because according to this invert scale if you look at the price action you can clearly see the trend here is pointing to the downside and also this line here the lower line of this descending channel because this is an inverse scale and this upper line is acting as a resistance which we can see here and now if this is going to be any sort of a move here in an upper division we know that this line here is going to be a very very strong resistance line so that resistance line is going to be around 41,000 price level so if you look at this in inverse scale you can see there is some possibility of pricing some sort of a pullback before again heading in a downward duration so in that case if this is going to happen in a normal price structure this is how it could actually look like price coming back to retest the previous temporary resistance line and then again a continuation pattern in an upper duration i'm also going to show you in a smaller time frame how this could actually look so if you look at this now in a four hour time frame you can see yesterday i talked about this scenario here this wake of reaction phase since the price here was clearly breaking out of this race line i told you very loud and clear that this price movement here around this area it's going to be more like a shakeout type of scenario and that's why i also said you this ascending triangle scenario was playing out around this price level and look at this since then yesterday you can see price got a rejection from this upper line area and then a support a very strong support from the lower end area and right now where we are this is also forming a very nice ascending triangle and this example could be playing out if we are going to break out of this upper line area so as you can see guys for price to continue further in an upper duration we have to break out of this upper line area of this 
ascending triangle. So if that's going to happen, then we know this Fibonacci extension level of 48,200, 48,300 will be broken, the resistance line, and we are going to see some sort of a movement in the upper duration, just like with this example here. Uptrend, consolidation phase, the point three was higher lows and a trend continuation in upper duration. And this is exactly what we could be also seeing with Bitcoin price action. But for this to happen, as I've already said, right, this consolidation phase and a breakout phase, we have to find support above this resistance line of 48,300 to 49,000 price level. Finding support over that would turn the price very, very bullish because then we don't have any resistance acting upon us. But in this case right now, so if this is going to play out as ASN triangle, then the price movement here in an upper duration would be somewhere around 53,500 to 53,600 if this is going to play out as a ascending triangle but any sort of a pullback any sort of a price pullback you can see we would also come across this 41,000 price level right this 41,000 target level must not be forgotten because this here was exactly the area where we previously found resistance right resistance so now we if we are going to see any sort of a pullback then we know this 41,000 is one hell of a support and then we could continue further in an upper duration because if it's an inward scale right, this is exactly what we also found out right any sort of a pullback testing the previous race line if you want to look at again in this inverse scale you can see pull back around this previous race line and then again a move here in a down duration so that is going to indicate us that hey right now any sort of a pullback doesn't mean the train is bearish but that is a very healthy pullback which could actually lead us to another very very impulsive move here in an upper direction so let's also have a quick look at ethereum price action guys and now if you look at this ether usd starting in a daily time frame what we can do is we can add this rising channel or so-called ascending channel because we can see very very clearly that the upper line of this ascending channel is acting as a very very strong resistance so we want to know is there any possibility of price of ether to break in an upper duration if that's the case then what kind of scenario we should be looking for but any sort of a pullback then we should also take into consideration that this lower line here could be acting as a very very strong support line so this could be a continuation pattern in this manner like higher highs higher lows continuation pattern if this pullback is going to take place then we have to understand this is still an higher highs higher lows continuation pattern which is still a very very bullish scenario for ether and if you want to say hey i want to look at this in a bit different way no problem we can add this another ascending channel but in a bit different scenario we can see the price here of ether has already broken out of this ascending channel we have also came back to retest the upper line which previously acted resistance and now this trend is clearly flashing us that there is a very likely scenario that we should be seeing a breakout in price action of ether because if we are going to see any sort of reverse then we know this upper line which previously acted as a resistance is going to be a very very strong support then we are definitely going to see some impulsive move again in the coming days for ether because any sort of a pullback here i'm going to switch this in a four hour time frame because in a four hour time frame we can see any sort of a price pullback the pullback scenario could be forming a move in this manner so now you can see this rising wedge type of scenario here the price has already broken out of the support line here to the downside so if this is going to be a, any sort of reversal then we could also see a pullback around this upper line area of this ascending channel and again a move here in an upper duration so it doesn't matter whichever scenario is played out you can see very clearly the trend is in a bullish trend so this means this small pullback should be a really nice buying opportunity for us guys and if you want to say hey i want to look this in an even smaller time frame like around in hourly time frame what we can do again in hourly time frame you can see guys in an hourly time frame right now for me which price level will be very very important but before i show you that let me also add this fibonacci extension level because we want to know which price level should be taken into consideration right so let's switch first in a daily time frame and look at this price target here in an upper direction because according to this price movement what we are witnessing with ether the upper target label and also to the downside which price level could be acting as a strong support so for that if we are going to look at this in a daily time frame the price clearly found support above this 100% Fibonacci access level of 1740 so we know now 1740 could be also playing as a support but any sort of a pullback then we should also be looking around this 1564 as a very very strong support for ether and as i've already showed you with another example any sort of a pullback around the upper line area of this price here right upper line area of this 
is sending channels. So this could also be a scenario that could be playing out before even reaching this 1,564. But doesn't matter whichever scenario, you can see the trend here still looks very bullish and we are going to see some upper target in the coming days. And my target would be around 2,240 to 2,250 as a next possible upper target for ether so guys these are some scenario i see right now looking at in a daily time frame and now let's look at this in a hourly time frame so now in a hourly time frame for ether it's very simple to pinpoint some area of support and resistance because you can see here this line here this red line acted as a very very strong resistance for ether price action we found support sometime but most probably it is giving us a very hard time to break in an upper duration so we know now hey this red line must also be broken if the train of ether wants to continue in a short term because this movement here right if you notice this price movement we can see this price structure is clearly forming a descending broadening wedge scenario so if this descending broadening wedge is going to see a breakout then for that we have to close above this upper line area of this descending broadening wedge and also this red line so we have to close above this price level of 1820 around that price level so if that's going to happen then the next possible target to the upside is going to be around 1900 area so for move here in upper duration we have to break this upper the line of this descending broadening wedge and also this red line around 1810 to 1820 so if that's going to happen then 1900 is going to be our next possible upper target but now as you can see there are some rejection from this upper line area so any sort of a pullback then we should also be ready for us this lower line of this descending broadening wedge acting as a support so this is also one scenario we should take into consideration because this price here you can see in a smaller time frame is playing very very nicely because you can see exactly at this previous line where it found support acted as a very sincere so now the pullback for me right for the short term pullback could be around this price level again around 1760 if this is going to show any sort of a rejection and then a most probably move is going to be in this manner right price slowly breaking out of this area and then a move in an upper direction so this is one scenario that could also be playing out in a smaller time frame and also before i conclude this video i just want to make you guys aware of this famix bonus right now famix is giving away around 680 dollar bonus to those individuals who sign up using my ref link in the description down below it's for limited time as you can see we only have 10 days left so follow the instruction and claim your bonuses so guys these are some of the scenario i thought sharing with you in today's episode i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope this video was helpful enough if that's the case then hit the like button and also if you're watching this for the first time definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell by saying this i'm signing out my name is anu bye bye guys